you wish to be your own person, to have your own ego, then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. And this little one just isn't good enough. Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. Hmm, I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your Dean. Now, now, you can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. What does school life mean to you? How responsible. Then let's follow up on that. Are you the diligent, note-taking type? How would you feel if you let a friend copy your notes and they did better on the test than you? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? You're standing in line for, hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? Have you ever looked at a naughty website? 
On your phone? Or your desktop, maybe? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Your desire for envy surpasses all others. You begrudge people for things you don't have. Though you spend a lot of time comparing yourself to others, this in itself has caused you to grow as a person. You must be a pretty good judge of character. Your desires are quite strong indeed. You have a firm sense of self and a stable ego. Something about you seems unbalanced, though. None of your desires should be neglected, you know? Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. So be frank with what you want as you attend this academy, and live how you see fit. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Life at the academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. Ta-ta! Wake up! Please, open your eyes! He seems all right. Yeah. The mist is too thick. Let's move. Stop. Hold up. I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. You're out of breath already? We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, was Nozama, was it? It's Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. Mm -hmm. So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm so glad you're okay, though. When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. Wait, you really can't remember? Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right?
Wait. Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Um, well... Our family isn't exactly a traditional one. Ah, I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all? No. <laughs> I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. <sighs> My name is Chio. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Man, you forget your manners, too? You're the last person I want to hear chastising people over their manners, Dr. Kakeru. The least you could do is thank her. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. A phone call? But we've had no service this entire time. Who could possibly be calling right now? Maybe it's someone from the outside. Maybe they'll be able to help us. Wait! Hello? What's that sound? My head hurts. Everyone, stay close. Where are we? of you. Everyone all right? Ephemeral, eternal. 
And so, too, do I hold your destiny. Wait! Wait! Unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling! The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude! Hurtful heathen! Deranged devil! Sadistic! Sadist, you may refer to me as Vanitas. Prove your power to your pursuers. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed and you're as good as dead. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Gah! Enough! Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. <sighs> <coughs> Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. Now go and kill those things already. Get ready. How peculiar. It's in your hands. Understood. I shan't move. Payback. I need it. Attack. Get ready. I won't back down. How peculiar. Subdue them. Hey, back. Sleep well. Your cheering cries. Return to your world now. Go! Claim your prize. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear. 
against the irrational and unfair.